Yo, what's good kings and queens? It's your boy Don and I'm back for another reaction video today. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and hit all so you know every time I post you heard. If you're not new to the channel, please go down below, hit that like button, put your social media down below you heard. Y'all already know if you get pinned, you win. Thank y'all for popping out. As y'all can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be reacting to the top 10 scary myths that are actually true. I don't know nothing about no scary myths. I don't know what is going to be false or true, but I hope that, you know, whatever it is, is not too crazy. I don't know what it's going to be. If y'all think y'all know what's going to be on this list, put it down in the chat. You are no cheating. Put it in the comments, wherever you at. Other than that, let's get into the video. Let's see what they talking about because I have no clue. I'm your host, Che Dorena. We've up, all Jay? heard a bunch of tall tales that have been blown out of proportion. Like maybe Bigfoot's real or Loch Ness. Or maybe your parents actually love each other. But sometimes these no. myths turn out to be true. Like Bigfoot. Not like your parents actually love right. each other. It's we not know. true. So today I've put together a list of the top 10 scary myths that turned out to be true. Make sure you stick around for the whole video because I want you guys to write in the comments which ones you knew were real and which ones were a surprise to you. Boy, As always, that. make sure you like, yeah, comment, subscribe, think. and hit the little notification bell. Also, make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Facebook and Instagram. It's a follow great way to get to know myself follow and my the other hosts video. just a Top little bit better. Your... And without yeah, taking any longer, awesome. let's get into this list. Get Number 10. It. The coffin bell. The story of a ringing bell coming from a buried coffin because the person is still inside. Who rings a bell? You're supposed to kung fu punch your way out like Kill Bill Volume 2. But this is something that actually used to happen. Back in the day when doctors weren't as good as telling if a man was dead or alive, they would tie a string to the hand of the person who was being buried that was connected to a bell. Being a doctor back then would have been so easy. You just poured whiskey on an open wound and then you told the person to smoke opium. But the string was tied to the person's hand just in case they weren't dead. Dead. They could pull the string and notify the people that maybe they shouldn't bury this person. Okay. So they didn't embalm them, nothing back then. I would love to sleep so good that everyone thought I was dead. Also, could you imagine you just finished filling up a hole after digging a hole and then you hear that little bell ring? I would be like, hey, I'm on my lunch break. That's not my problem. Number nine, Fire. stinky. You never know what has happened in a hotel room before you've been in there. The person who stayed in there before you could have been super clean or maybe they farted on all the pillows. You really have no idea. Well, this one was a little bit of a shock for a couple probably just trying to have a good time. The old legend goes that a couple stayed in a hotel room and there was a terrible smell. They called the staff to come check it out. After some solid inspection, they decide to move the mattress and they find a dead body. Yum! My boy said yum. This is completely true. You can look it up. I know you'll find something because this has happened more than once. Actually, world famous serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer used to commit a lot of murders in hotel rooms. Traveling is so fun. You can stay in a hotel and sleep on a bed that maybe someone was killed on, or you can stay in an Airbnb and then you maybe stay with the actual killer. So exciting. Number eight, Hayride Surprise. Halloween hayrides are some really small town stuff. Dress up your farm to make yep. it look all spooky and scare some kids so they run and fall in manure. Right. That's old school fun. Well, yeah. some of these haunted hayrides have legends of hanging kids appearing out of nowhere. And on a couple of them, this has actually happened. Teens have set themselves up to look We're like there. hanging bodies to spook people and then have accidentally killed themselves. The people who were going around on the hayride had no idea they were actually looking at dead bodies. This has happened all over the United States. Mm. I'm gonna stick to going to Halloween house parties where people are only dead on the inside. Number seven, film crew mix up. There's a bunch of myths about the film industry. It's all part of the Illuminati and they use movies to send subliminal messages into our minds. The Tom Cruise is actually an alien in human skin and that's why he preaches a religion about outer space people. And sometimes props aren't actually props but real like dead bodies. Well that last one actually happened. Well they all might be happening. I just don't have the proof to prove the other ones. Right. But in 1976 a film crew was working on the TV show Six Million Dollar Man. It's so funny how back in the 70s Six Million Dollars made you a bionic hero. Now it just gets you a cool condo in Manhattan. Well, one of these people on set went to move a prop body and one of the limbs fell off. He then saw that this wasn't a prop but a real body. You think the smell would give it away. Weirdly, the body was of a train robber named Elmer Curdy who died in the early 1900s. I guess reuse, reduce, recycle. Number six, going down. 
elevator myths are great. People get so freaked out by them. I mean, it's for good reason. You're stuck in a box with a bunch of people suspended in the air. If anything goes wrong, you're all dead, and sometimes I'll fart in them. You don't want to fart in it with like other people in there because then they'll know it's you. You want to fart in it by yourself so the next person who walks in gets blasted. That's pro-level elevator farting. Well, some myths about these death traps are about people getting cut in half, and that has actually happened. In 2003, a man by the name of Dr. Hitoshi Hikido was strolling into an elevator in Houston, Texas. The door malfunctioned and closed on his body. The elevator then started to move and then chopped his head off. Ah, now's a perfect time to say, always take the stairs. It's better for you in more ways than one. Number five, the Green Man. If you're from Pittsburgh, you probably know the story of the Green Man or Charlie No-Face, a zombie that would walk around late at night snatching kids up to eat them. It's a classic urban legend of the area. Although the story of a zombie walking around eating kids isn't true, it comes from a real person. Charlie No-Face was actually Raymond Robinson, and when Ray was nine, his face was melted off by an electric electrical accident. It was around 1200 volts that went through his body and left his face disfigured. In order to not scare people, he would only leave his house at night. Unfortunately, this kind of did the opposite. When people would see him wandering around at night, it would scare the hell out of them, and that's how the urban legend began. The poor dude was just trying to not bother anyone, and now everyone calls him rude names. Shame on all of you. Number four, toxic lady. The myth of someone coming into a hospital with some unknown sickness, and it starts to spread and infect everyone around them. On day one, there were two people, and then four, and then 16. In three months, it's a billion. That's where we're heading. This is basically every zombie movie ever, but a version of this actually kinda happened. A woman by the name of Gloria Ramirez was rushed to the hospital for cancer treatment in 1994. Many doctors tried to help her, but everyone who did kept encountering the same thing. A horrible smell coming off of her body. The smell was so bad that doctors Doctors and nurses started to faint, and few of them needed medical treatment. There were also unexplained things happening to her body, like black oil that seemed to come through her skin, and there were particles in her blood that no one could identify. Sadly, Gloria died before doctors could figure out what was wrong with her. So some lady came to a hospital with a super virus, it wasn't cured, and that's the end of the story. Have fun sleeping. Number three, bugs in your head. Some bugs have it in their name, like earwigs. There's countless urban legends about bugs laying eggs in people's bodies, spiders in your tummy, all sorts of stuff like that. But none of those stories could be real, right? The only thing hiding under my skin is a crabby personality. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to start sleeping with earplugs because that actually happens a lot. Specifically, it happened to Rochelle Harris in 2013. She took a trip down to Peru, probably to drink ayahuasca and trip out in the jungle while she shat her pants. And when she came home, she started getting really bad headaches. These headaches were followed by a scratching noise that she thought was coming from inside her head. She wasn't going crazy, but a screw worm fly had laid eggs in her ears, and now maggots were dancing around up in there. And if that wasn't enough, this has happened with a lot of different bugs, like cockroaches and spiders. Two different people. It didn't happen to Rochelle again. Number two, organ thieves. You get too drunk in a bar in Thailand, you meet a nice lady, and next thing you know, you wake up in a bathtub full of ice and one of your kidneys is gone? This urban legend is thrown together to scare tourists. But here's the thing, illegal organ trafficking is 100% real. Yeah. You don't need to worry about it if you're some drunk backpacker, though. I mean, you might still get your organs stolen, but chances are they don't want you because your body's been beaten up by too much booze, meaning your insides are basically worthless. Who this actually happens to is children. Yeah, a Mexican cartel got busted for trafficking child organs, I guess because they're fresher or something. I mean, good news for me, but also one of the most horrible things I've ever heard, to think there's people out there who make a living off of stealing the hearts out of kids and not how the Jonas Brothers did it. Number one, the water is off. There's always been a myth about moving into a new home and there's something wrong with the water. It comes out like a funny color or it has a weird smell. If that ever happens to your pee, please go see your doctor immediately. Then they look at the water tank and there's a dead body. Whoa. Well, in 
2013, this actually happened. It was in the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. Yay, more fun traveling stories. People at the hotel kept reporting to the front desk that the water was coming out a strange color and had a weird smell. It took the hotel a week before they went to check out why this was happening. When they did, they found the body of Alicia Lamb floating dead in there. I know bottled water isn't good for you, but I think I'm going to stick to that and avoid the tap water at the next hotel I go to. All right, everyone, that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to write in the comments. Enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments if I should react to something similar or maybe even something different you are. Let me know in the comments as well what was your most scary part. Like, which one did y'all really believe or feel like, you know, it actually happened or may not have happened? Let me know down in the comments you heard. Thank y'all for popping out to the video. I truly appreciate it. Y'all know that already. Follow on my social media. Everything is up top, you heard. Thank y'all, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. It's coming up right after this, so I'm going to see y'all there, you heard. Peace. Love. Dawn.